The legendary Ether Tool is one of Modern Warfare 3's most valuable items, but it's incredibly rare. So let's see how many we can find in just one game. Let's get to it. All right, we have a lot of ground to cover. Yes, we're gonna use a legendary ether tool and a double pack a punch along with all of our perks that we know and love. Now, because we just used a legendary ether tool, I really hope we can find at least one legendary ether tool to make up for the one that I'm using this game. So there are a few different tactics that I want to implement, test out some different theories here. The first thing to do is I'm gonna run through Low Town here since we know it's a pretty decent loot spot and we are gonna be on the lookout for these type of chests right here and so help me if we get, I don't know what to say. I just, I just, I cannot believe my luck. I don't get this luck without you guys. I hope you know that. This is insane luck. What's in here now, okay? the turret circuit shatter blast will take it let's head on over we're looking for these large loot chests right here all right that's pretty good we are using the tears again just because i really don't feel like using anything special i just want to be able to steamroll anything in our way i know people have said looking in toolboxes they found some ether tools and whatnot but i don't think i, I might have found like one ether tool in those toolboxes it is just not very common for me so we'll keep looting but i do also want to do some tier two contracts not only to get points but i know a lot of people have this thing where they think that the tier 2 contract rewards are actually better than the tier 3 contract rewards so we're gonna do a little bit of testing here not like super extensive or anything but we'll do a couple tier twos and we'll keep looking in these loot chests here for anything good contract number one we have uh nothing crazy no no legendary ether tool but i do want to head on up to this building over here and see if there's any any good loot in this anything good we got we got a juggernaut that's really good turret circuit that's awesome another turret circuit all right 10 minutes in no legendary ether tool contract number two nothing all right couple contracts down not looking too lucky so we are gonna try and take out this infested stronghold here these are usually a great source of any sort of assortment of loot all right stronghold cleared let's take a look at these guys Ooh, some good stuff some good stuff in here here. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Just no legendary ether tool yet. Let's try another contract. You might be thinking, Donuts, why are you wasting so much time in tier two? I want no stone left unturned here. But that being said, if this doesn't get us a legendary ether tool, I think we're going to go. Oh, that's that's not bad loot. In fact, I'll take this so that we can pack a punch our um wonder weapon here. And of course, now we will head on into tier three. All right. Contract numero uno. Nope. All right. We've got these triple papped we're gonna do a little bit of looting up here i just kind of want to see these big buildings and these big chests i am a big believer in looting and this is like the ultimate test oh my goodness look at that there's a uh, gold lmg right there that's pretty cool this is like the ultimate test to see you know this is the thing to loot for if you're gonna loot oh nope nothing in here just another turret circuit bummer but you know what we're gonna do this infested stronghold now too oh my goodness oh my goodness okay never mind never mind easy don't it's easy donuts there's a lot of zombies in these things okay well first uh, before we do that i want to clear out i know it's going to take a long time so i'm going to kill this guy first because i know i've killed these guys in the past and gotten legendary ether tools let's get him get him in the mouth very good two out of three ain't bad almost got him almost got him there we go we got him we got him okay let's see let's see let's get some points in here and it doesn't look like he dropped anything worthwhile i swear if we go this whole video and we don't get a single legendary ether tool I'm gonna be kind of sad but you know what else I have another bad idea I want to see if there's though if there are those ethereal orbs it doesn't look like there's one but it looks like there's some more um whatchamacallit these guys i should not have jumped right into that guy's face oh but you know what you know what i do got you know what i do got i got a whole crap ton of these guys so we could just turn that bad boy on and help him out with this contract yeah they're gonna get that real nice and fast look at that let's kill him oh there we go there we go let's kill him oh reloading there we go nice all right legendary ether tool legendary ether tool nothing all right bummer 
Oh, there's another one here. Oh, I got that. There's a blue ether tool. Okay, that's kind of a ripoff. And it doesn't look like the orb is over here either. So we're going to have to go all the way. Well, actually, no, there's a chance the orb's over here, isn't it? And don't worry, we're going back to the infested stronghold soon. I just want to check this out. I got distracted. It happens a lot in this game. I don't see the orb over here. All right, that's a bummer. Let's use this guy and head all the way back over. All right, this is a very, very bad decision but i am gonna do this all right let's go here let's shoot a couple here shoot a couple here shoot a couple there oh there's so many in here there's so many in here i'm gonna throw one of these bad boys now yeah there we go oh this is tense this is tense let's do that let's do that there's so many there's so many in here let's jump out let's we're gonna need to deal with some zombies on our way i'm gonna shoot this guy i don't think it's gonna do anything to him uh but that's that's not bad it's, it's softening him up a little bit here let's go see zombies get distracted by car alarms did you know that that's your fun fact of the day all right there's a there's a there's a lot more of these orbs here oh my goodness are these things i'm gonna e ether shroud here i'm gonna come on up there's one there's another one i see a couple more in the bathroom and we did it cool now we just gotta defend here which shouldn't be too bad now hopefully in here we get oh there's a purple ether tool i'll take that 100 percent of the time and then blue ether tool and then the decoy symbol monkey and some perks which is nice um um, that's cool. Oh, one more. Uh, blue ether tool. Okay. Well, that was kind of disappointing. That was a lot of work for, I mean, I guess, you know, we got an epic. That's pretty good. Epic. Epic's not bad. Ooh, say, oh, look at that. Look at that. I say how rare it is. We got a rare ether tool in a toolbox. That's very nice. So they, the more you know. Oh, they just killed another uh, thing, but it looks like they didn't drop an ether tool. Oh, bummer. But we got another contract, so we can do that. All right. Contract number two. We've got a blue ether tool. Nothing else, though. Ooh, and unfortunately, it looks like the orb's not even over here. That's pretty disappointing, but we can kill another megaton. That's for sure. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. There's so many things around me. Let's yeah. Shoot me. Shoot me. Let's go. I know these tiers are overpowered i know they're like the best guns in the game but dang it they need a faster reload or just more than five bullets because oh my goodness it's just not enough there's just too many zombies and i'm reloading again oh my goodness okay all right all right there's more zombies <laughs> and he didn't drop anything again you know this is like i think everybody's biggest complaint about the rng in this game i said it i think i commented on reddit or something i said you know this game's really not all that rng like most things that you absolutely need can be found within a game if you know where to look but like as we've seen we just have an epic ether tool that's it we're looking for a legendary and we just haven't found it yet we've done some contracts We've done a lot of looting. We got a lot of blue ether tools, but that's really it. And don't get me wrong. I completely understand, you know, not wanting to completely overpower the player with all of these, you know, powerful ether tools and whatnot. Like, I get it. But also, I feel like if the players actively try to find these things, there should be a path to them. There's a path for ammo mods with the ether nests. There's a path for even normal ether tools with the ether orbs and whatnot. And the power crawl at the beginning of the game is really good. Ooh, I'll take that turn. Going from tier one to tier two and then sustaining yourself in tier two is really fun. But it feels as though you unless you have the schematics there's really not a good consistent way of staying within tier three without getting lucky of course but i do have to say once i got the schematic of the legendary ether tool like it was awesome you know because like it's very consistent i can go do whatever i want i can go into the dark ether i can fight the red worm it feels really nice but i was really hoping to have at least like one by now like we've looted a lot of stuff and i do a lot of normal contracts to know that contracts really aren't the way to go in terms of legendary ether tools and uh I thought, not gonna lie, by looting a bunch of this stuff, look at all this good stuff. I really thought that was gonna be the way to do it, but um, we're just not being as successful or as lucky as I normally am. And I distinctly remember one of these days playing a game where when I was looting, I got like two or three ether tools. Like it really was fun. So this feels really weird to me. Also, I don't think I've ever had an HVT right here before. This is crazy. And nothing. Ooh, I'll take that crystal for sure. And of course I'll go help out this guy. Oh yeah, he's got the jug. 
Chicago. Okay, let's see. No, that's a blue ether tool. Dang it. I do wish, I guess that I should say, I do wish that ethereal orb was around here somewhere. I feel like those have a good chance of getting, aha. Uh -huh. Oh, but there's a, there's a thing. Oh, that's okay though. Cause I've got those turret circuits. Let's go. And we've killed a lot of mega abominations too. All right, let's put you in before I die. I said before I die, before I die. Thank you. Ooh, this uh, insta kill is going to be really good. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Anything good? Anything good? Nothing. PhD flopper. Okay. Well, let's take this opportunity while this turret's here to get this thing because this is going to be our chance here. Oh my gosh. That is if I can kill him without the zombies being here. Zombies, go away. I've never seen it take this path before. This is a weird path. Get out of there, buddy. Get out of there. Oh, I'm going to eat the shroud. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We got a rare ether tool. That is lame. Usually that's really lame. That's really lame. That usually gives me a purple one. All right. Last loot chest. That is a bomber, man. But we are going to pack a punch this to tier three because it's not very often I get to use this so it'll be kind of fun to see this is a long animation like it's cool but really long this is like a really easy way of cheesing the mega abomination just sitting in here this is crazy easy look at that we just killed them just like that was the easiest mega abomination kill i've ever done nothing again so that's just such a bummer isn't it now the question is do i do the dark ether or do i fight the red worm with these guys or perhaps both you guys know me i'm a big sucker for the red worm boss fight so let's see how fast we can kill this thing and I've only got these tiers, so oh my goodness. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh no. And I gotta say, these tiers, for as great as they are, terrible boss fight. Terrible for the boss fight. Like, they just, you know, there's nothing. There's no distance you can get with them. Oh no. That's my last self-revive. I might get out of here, you know? I don't know. We're, we're pulling it out. We're doing it here. We're, we're, this isn't so bad. We almost got them. I'm trying to support them in any way I can here. Also, so get some of my armor back. Oh crap, my my gas mask. Oh crap, my gas mask. I gotta go replenish it. Let's go, donuts, and boom. Okay, good. That was close. That was close. Ooh, I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. And we're gonna have enough time to go to the dark ether too. This is gonna be a sick, sick time. Oh look, let's go. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. And we might even get a schematic that we need too. Let's go, guys. Finish them off. Finish them off. Oh, we're so close. Why aren't we killing them? Why aren't we killing them? There we go. Let's go. All right. Ooh, there's an epic ether tool I'll take. That was from a mega abomination. All right, we got two minutes to book it to the dark ether. Let's see. Let's hope for ooh legendary ether tool plans. All right, that's kind of on brand, off brand for the video. Let's head on in this way. I think we're going this way. Let's use this scorcher for all it's worth here. Nice and good. It looks like again they're coming and following me. We're not going to make the same mistake we did last video. We're going to go in solo. All right, spend sigil. Let's do it. Teleport. Let's do number three. Yes, let's go. Awesome. All right, into the dark ether. I hope I didn't ruin my gas mask. I think we're good. Let's go. Let's go. All right, this is our last chance to get a legendary ether tool. We've got contract to do. I'm telling you, these tiers need more ammo. It's all right. This is the easy one. We've got 30 minutes. I'm not in a rush to do this. Go donuts. Go donuts. Go donuts. That worm boss fight really like, ah, uh, that was greedy donuts. You shouldn't have done that worm boss fight. That's all right, though. We got this. We've done this many times before. All right. Nice and easy. That gets easier every single time. Oh, don't die in the explosion, donuts. All right. Moment of truth. Oh, we got some epic ones. That's pretty good. And I'll definitely take that self revive for sure. Sure. Well, we got some epic ether tools. Maybe we need to change the title of the video. How many epic ether tools can I get? Another self revive. I think I will take that. And I know some parkour, so we're going to pick up this quarters key. And before we do this contract here, we're actually going to put this turret circuit right here because this is going to do an excellent job of killing this megaton right here. Megaton, mega abomination. Megatons are not in this game, Donuts. There we go. It's dead, all nice and good. And it's hopefully going to help us clean up the shoreline here. This is such a fun place to be. I want more of this stuff in the future, Treyarch. This is just so delightful just by yourself in this amazing dark ether skybox. All right. Now, the last time we did this on camera, we 
definitely got a legendary ether tool and that is exactly what i'm hoping for here i just don't want it to run away like it did in the tier three area it's running away it's going the opposite direction don't electrocute me it electrocuted me <laughs> there we go that's a better way to go come on you're so close i know you're so close come on oh reloading of course we gotta reload don't go away awesome and another epic ether tool all right well i'll take it actually no well yeah i will all right well let's go ahead and do this contract oh my gosh what the heck what the heck what, what is this the elder dark ether why is there mimics in this one did they buff this oh my gosh what the heck is wrong there's so many things right now what <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Maybe I just haven't done this in a while. I do I do feel like I haven't been here in a while, so maybe I'm really just out of practice. Let's go ahead and throw one of these guys just to just for fun, you know? Usually I don't even use all of them. Oh wow, it's already done. Oh my goodness, that's such a fast contract. Uh, all right, everyone, let's hold our breath. Let's see. Golden armor plate. Dang it. Well, I mean, that's good. That's good. I definitely want that, but I just what the video is a legendary ether tool. And um, now I'm all out of ideas how to get legendary ether tools. You see, the title says how to get legendary ether tools, and we've gotten zero legendary ether tools. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of salty. Well, we did basically all of the high tier things you could do, all of the challenges and the difficulty. This is a fun area with the Scorcher. Dang it, I'm having so much fun. I'm not even going to pretend to be salty. <laughs> but no, we've done all of the high stuff. Like, we went to the Dark Aether, did some contracts, tier 3 some contracts, the Infested Stronghold. I mean, how's a man supposed to get a legendary Aether tool around here? We did those Aether orbs. We killed like 76 different abominations. That being said, our luck in the Dark Aether was pretty good. We've got some epic Aether tools. We did fight the worm and get the legendary ether tool plans. We've got double pack punch crystal and golden armor, which is nice. But man, Treyarch, it is really difficult if you don't have the plans to get your hands on gold ether tools. That is a big disappointment. Now, even though we're disappointed we don't have any legendary ether tools, five epic tools and double pack a punch and golden armor, that's fantastic. I love that, except for the tiny detail that when we go into our stash here, it's full of legendary ether tools, triple pack a punch crystals, the VR11 for when I do my Elder Sigil run. So with that being full on 10, if I'm not going to glitch out and make it over 10 because it takes everything from my rucksack, that means that I have absolutely nothing to do with this. I just have to hold these in my backpack for all the games moving forward. Treyarch, I think it's time to increase the stash size. This is kind of ridiculous. But that being said, this was a good run. I know it's kind of negative. I, it's like, it's really disappointing we didn't get any legendary ether tools. I'm going to be honest with you beautiful people. But this was a great run. We've got a lot of great loot. We did some amazing things. It was incredibly fun, much like this run was really fun. So be sure to check out that video and stay beautiful.